Now Storm Team 10's Chris Piper shows you more experiments. Right now we're in an interesting part of the year. With kids home from school, everyone needs ways to keep them learning. A fun way to do so is with science and weather experiments. Now I'm going to show you another easy one. It's how you can make a barometer. Now a barometer shows high and low pressure. Usually with high pressure, we see more calm weather. With low pressure, we usually see more active weather. So here's what you'll need. A glass jar, a spool, and a pencil are the first things that you'll need or something steady to hold that pencil in place. A balloon, a straw, and a card with your markings on it along with tape and finally a needle or a toothpick. Now first cut and stretch the balloon over the top of the jar, then glue the straw to the top of the balloon. From there, attach your toothpick or needle to the other end of the straw. Next, attach the pencil into the spool or whatever you use to keep that pencil in place and tape your card to the pencil. Again, this is where a spool will come in handy, but you can use whatever will hold it steady. Now, when the air pressure is lower, the balloon should expand and it pushes that straw and that needle down toward low pressure. Now, when the pressure is high, the balloon should suck in, pointing more upward toward high pressure. Now, again, this is something that you can see results with as quickly as this weekend. We have some potential severe weather coming in, so make your barometer and then tune into Storm Team 10 for the latest updates. Back to you.